when we take a soluble salt and dissolve it in a solvent to create a solution, really we're not interested in the concentration of the soluble salt. What we're interested in many times is the concentrations of the ions that are in solution. And that's, this is going to lead us on into using molarities during uh, calculations with reactions. And it's going to be these ionic species that are involved in reactions and not the uh, soluble salt form. So remember, by definition, a soluble salt disassociates 100%. So there's going to be very little of our iron 3 sulfate here. Um, almost all of it is going to disassociate to make Fe3 plus and SO4 2 minus. So really what we're interested in is the concentration of these species, and that's what's going to be involved in our reactions. So inside here, when we look at iron 3 sulfate, there are multiple irons and multiple sulfates inside of one um, iron 3 sulfate uh, molecule. So soluble salts can disassociate to produce higher concentrations of ions. So there's a, a ratio here. Uh, when we disassociate iron 3 sulfate, we end up making two Fe3 plus and three sulfate uh, anions here. And that's going to affect the concentration of these species. And remember, that's what we want to know because it's uh, these species that are, are going to be involved in reactions. So if I take a one molar solution of uh, iron 3 sulfate, and I ask the question, what's what's the concentration of Fe3 plus in solution? I use this uh, disassociation to come up with mole ratios. So just like what we did when we were talking about limiting reactant problems, I can use this uh, disassociation reaction to come up with mole ratios. So it says that for every one iron 3 sulfate that I disassociate, I end up making uh, 2 Fe3 plus and 3 SO4 2 minus. So I can use this mole ratio. I have uh, one mole um, or molar of our iron 3 sulfate solution. I then multiply by the mole ratio. The, this disassociation says that for every one iron 3 sulfate, when I disassociate, I'm going to be making two uh, Fe3 plus. So I, I can also say for every one mole of iron 3 sulfate, I'm going to be ending up making two moles of Fe3 plus after this disassociation. So I take the initial uh, concentration of Fe3 plus, I multiply by my mole ratio, and I find out that after we have a disassociation in my solution, I'm going to have a 2.0 molar concentration of my Fe3 plus. And I, I can do the same thing for sulfate. Uh, in this case, it is a 3 to 1 ratio, so for every 1 uh, Fe3 plus uh, or iron 3 sulfate that I use up, I make 3 sulfates. I do the same thing. I take the initial concentration of my iron 3 sulfate and I multiply by my mole ratio. So here uh, it's 3 to 1, and I can say for every 1 mole of iron 3 sulfate that I disassociate, I'm going to end up making 3 moles of sulfate in the solution. So when I multiply through, after the dissociation, um, I'm going to have a concentration of sulfate of 3.0 molar.